Welcome back. It's as flat as it can get. The Sen- Sensex is up one point, Nifty is up two points, and Midcap is down three points. So they actually are cancelling each other out. Uh, let's move on to a Midcap company which came out with numbers. The stock is down a bit. Atul is the stock in focus, down about two and a half percent at this point in time. Uh, decent volumes in that one. Gopi Kannan, President Finance at Atul, now joins in. <coughs> Mr. Kannan, hi. Thanks for joining in. Uh, let me start with the net profit because quite clearly there is uh, a bit of a drop that you have seen on net profit this time round. Uh, about uh, 21% fall on net profit, uh, uh, 23% fall on net profit actually. Uh, can you explain the one-offs which have impacted your numbers because uh, uh, sales have gone up 10%. Yeah, I suppose you are uh, uh, comparing on sequential basis. Q4 yes. versus Q3, right? Yes. No, even on year-on-year uh, basis, I think the number, the net uh, profit is down. See, uh, on on uh, no, on year-on-year basis, in fact, the profits have gone up by fifty-four percent. Okay, time. so the, I'm talking sequential numbers. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. So. Sequential, that's right. Yeah. You see, uh, in in Q4, uh, if you see, actually, we have sold fifty-one crores more, uh, which is around twelve percent higher than Q3 sales. You know, and the gross margins were, in fact, a tad better in Q4. However, uh, the uh, debt profit shows a decline, mainly on account of uh, if you see other expenses in um, uh, in the two G line number two G, other expenses went up from fifty nine crores to eighty one crores during the quarter, uh, a growth of twenty two crores. When this is what is upsetting the net profit, the bottom line. Mm-hmm. Now, this twenty two crores included certain one time items, non recurring items. For example. We spent four crores on reach registration for selling in Europe. This registration is compulsory for selling in Europe uh, of chemicals beyond a threshold level of each chemical. No, mm. we earlier had registration for many products. Now we have done for more products whose benefits will recur in future. It mm. doesn't really relate to Q4. Okay. Then there were uh, they, then we took some uh, decisions on some non-moving inventory in, uh, at the fag end of Q4. No, so some provisioning is also there. Plus. There were some timing differences also due to uh, certain errors in accounting. You know, certain expenses of Q3 and Q2 got booked only in Q4. Okay, so let's uh, okay, okay. Let's just look at the macro picture, sir. Then, uh, uh, Mr. Kannan, how do you expect things to pan out in the current and uh, uh, current quarter and current year? Uh, since you have been opening offices uh, in um, uh, uh, several countries abroad. Yeah. Uh, do you uh, see a growth in the volume of business? Uh, can you give us some guidance on both the volume of business uh, as well as margins? Uh, yes, uh, yes, we are uh, quite positive about the current quarter. It will certainly be uh, better than uh, Q4. Uh, we hope, mm. and uh, for the entire year also, we see a growth. Uh, we, uh, as we say internally, you know, we mm. are. Actually, too small to be affected uh, in a very big way about uh, on account of what is happening in Europe or the US, etc. Mm-hmm. You know, we uh, we uh, see we are uh, <coughs> our exports are just around thousand crores. You know, mm. the drop in the ocean as far as the international market is concerned. So this is what we tell our people. You know, that uh, mm. we we can always uh, push sales, and if it doesn't happen, it's only going to be due to internal factors. And anyway, we are positive about the current year, thirteen, fourteen. Okay. And we do see volume growth and profit growth coming in. Um, in, in fact, in twelve, thirteen, our uh, crop protection and aromatic businesses did extremely well. They are mm-hmm. expected to fare even better in the current year. Mr. Kannan, uh, you know, you yeah. ended the year with an EPS of forty-five rupees against thirty rupees. So that's a very smart growth for the full year. Uh, for yeah. FY fourteen, what kind of uh, EPS estimates can the market assume? Uh, well, see, it's very difficult to give a number, and actually, we never give any guidance in that sense. Uh, however, it, it ought to be better. We we see at least uh, 12 to 15 percent growth in sales, and mm. correspondingly, the EPS will improve. So that's almost 50 rupees mm. uh, of an EPS. Well, I thought you uh, said 15 well, percent. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, for, okay, 15 percent, 45. So that's 50 rupees. Uh, fair enough, uh, Mr. Kanan. Thanks a lot for that quick take. So that's uh, Atul. So uh, uh, if they do 50 rupees, that's uh, seven times. Sorry, uh, sorry. Yeah, uh, I know you're right. I, yeah. I I was assuming 30 rupees, which was last year's uh, EPS. Yes, yeah, so 45. So 45. Yeah, it is over 50 rupees for sure. If it's 15 percent, we have to take a break. On that note, uh, uh, we will come back with a technical expert and check out uh, where the markets are headed technically. Back in a minute.